It was a typical day in the city of London, the sun was shining and the streets were bustling with life. Detective John Smith was on the case of yet another mysterious crime. His latest assignment was to investigate the disappearance of a valuable set of jewels from a prominent family in the city. He had been on the case for a few weeks and he was getting closer to a solution. John had been working with the family to try and find out what had happened to the jewels. They had been locked in a safe in the family's home and had not been seen since. The family had been very cooperative with John in his investigation, providing him with all the information he needed. He had interviewed the family members, looked through their financial records, and even searched their home for any clues. However, despite all his efforts, John had been unable to find any leads to the whereabouts of the jewels. He had questioned everyone he could think of who might have had access to the safe, but no one seemed to know anything. He was beginning to think that the case would remain a mystery forever. But then, a few days later, John received a call from an anonymous source. The caller told him that he had information about the missing jewels and that he would be willing to share it if John could meet him in person. Intrigued, John agreed to the meeting and arranged to meet the mysterious caller at a nearby park. When John arrived at the park, he saw a figure sitting on a bench in the shadows. He approached Ed the figure and immediately knew who it was. It was the same man he had interviewed earlier in his investigation. The man revealed that he had been hired by a rival family to steal the jewels. He had managed to break into the family home and take the jewels, but he had been unaware of the security measures put in place by the family. As a result, he had been unable to get away with the jewels and had been forced to hide them. The man then revealed the location of the jewels. They were hidden in an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of the city. He offered to take John to the warehouse so that he could retrieve the jewels, but John refused. He wanted to handle the situation himself and thanked the man for his help. John took a taxi to the warehouse and, sure enough, he found the jewels hidden there. He took them back to the family, who were relieved to have their precious jewels returned. They thanked John for his hard work and dedication and offered him a reward for his efforts. John a. C. accepted the reward and returned to his office to begin working on his next case. As he reflected on the events of the past few weeks, he knew that he had solved another difficult case. He had uncovered the mystery of the missing jewels, and in doing so, he had brought justice to the family who had been wronged.